I know you want to talk about um, Jaden Ivey and Jalen Duren on this all rookie team because I I know you're you're gonna go off on this topic and I I know it's something that uh, I told you don't be surprised if, if it does happen and hey I was right they're on the second team yeah you were right about that and I I mean I don't remember what I said exactly but I I, I knew yeah it, it felt like once I saw those rookie of the year voting when he came in sixth, you knew he wasn't making first team. Like it was just right there. And yeah, Jaden Ivey made all NBA second team along with his teammate, Jalen Duran. He was snubbed from the first team. And it's honestly, it's honestly bullshit. And it's a disservice to Jaden Ivey because like we've touched on so many times on this podcast, his, his development, his improvement from the first game to the final game, he was a completely different player. Mm -hmm. He was doing things by the end of the season that we didn't think we would see for at least another season. You know, like the, the, the spot of shooting, the playmaking, those were huge for Jaden Ivy. He grew so much as a player. And again, I think it's bullshit that these awards are voted on in the first feels like the first month of the season you know benedict matherin yeah he had a great start but he he tapered off and i'm not just saying that as a pistons fan that there were pacers fans saying that about benedict matherin so why you hold a bad start um against Jaden ivy and don't hold a slow a bad finish against benedict matherin or any other rookie it's just a slap in the face, not only to Jaden Ivey, but Detroit fans and basketball fans. We, I mean, Jaden Ivey got robbed. That's really what it was. And I mean, I shouldn't be this disappointed and this hurt by it, but I am because, you know, in Detroit, we very rarely get to root for rookies like this. And we want to see them shine and be honored the way they should be. And yeah, the NBA voters, they missed it, man. They really did. And I know I sound like a broken record, but Man, NBA voters, man, you guys, uh, yeah, you really did a disservice to Jaden Ivey, and it's a shame, man. It really is. Yeah, I, I would say Jalen Duran. I, I want to start off. I think he had a good season, but I think we can both agree Walker Kessler deserved oh, that yeah. fir first uh, NBA was a NBA first team, whatever our rookie team. Uh, he just had a phenomenal season with Utah, um, but I I still think Jalen Duran is one of the better centers. Um, from his draft class. And I, I think he's a starting caliber center on um, basically any team in the NBA. There's just so much there with him that kind of, as a Piston fan, you're just kind of just like salivating, like, man, we got a franchise center at 13. Like, he, not too many teams can say that, you know, drafting, getting someone that late in the lottery. So I'm still happy with Jalen Duran, happy that he did make the second team. With Jaden Ivey, to your point, I think you can make an argument with him and Benedict Matherin. Now, I, I've told you it's all politics in the NBA, especially with the voting. Um, they value team success and wins over if you make first team, if you win rookie of the year, if you're MVP. Um, it, 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 it just gets to the point where it's like these voters kind of are box score watchers, in my personal opinion. They're, they're not really watching the games. And to be fair, they probably can't watch all 30, yeah. 30 31 teams. I, f I forget, 32 teams. I forget how many teams are in the NBA. I can't keep up. Um, <laughs> but I, I think Jade Nivey and Benedict Matherin, I mean, I, I made a, a stat graphic. I mean, Benedict Matherin and Jade Nivey are very comparable. Like, Jade Nivey was labeled as a non three point shooter, and he shot a higher percentage from three than Benedict Matherin. Now, obviously, Matherin came off the bench and put up those stats in less minutes than Ivey. But Ivy was going up against ones when Matherin was going up against twos and threes, in my personal yep. opinion. Like, Ivy was going up against, you know, the top point guards, top shooting guards in the league, while Matherin is going up against bench players and, you know, fringe NBA guys. That's just my thing. And to your point, yeah, Jaden Ivy from October wasn't the same player as Jaden Ivy uh, February, March, April. Completely different player. So that's why I feel he did get snubbed. That's why I feel he should have been on the first team. Because to me, I think he was one of the better rookies out of this draft class this year. And I, I still believe he's going to be a multi-time All-Star throughout his career. I, I think he could possibly win an MVP. That's just how highly I think of him. Because there's so much there with this game where the fact that he developed that fast in one season, give him, you know, by year five, year six, he's probably averaging 25 a game. 
He's probably in dunk contests. He's probably, you know, at All-Star Weekend just dominating. With him, you you got I've I've said it. You have a superstar in Jade Ivy. Mean, I know a lot of Pistons fans are like, you're just drinking the Kool-Aid. I'm not just drinking the Kool-Aid. I've never seen a Pistons rookie over the probably the last 10 years develop that damn fast. And that's why I was kind of pissed off when I saw that list. I was just like, come on, man. Are, are you kidding me? Like oh. th- this guy's box office, man. Like, there's a reason why you see Stephen A. Smith pissed off that the Knicks didn't get Jaden Ivey. He knows. Everyone in the NBA knew, you know, going into last year, Jaden Ivey had those comps to Russell Westbrook, had those comps to John Moran. Like, there's just s- stuff in his game where, as a Piston fan, you should be so proud and so excited for the future. I have a feeling, like, you compared him to Dwayne Wade a couple episodes again, a couple episodes ago. I have a feeling with Jaden Ivey, and the, like you just touched on, the way he improved was so fast – that he's he's gonna, I think he's gonna have a second year similar like a jump from rookie year to second year just like Dwayne Wade. Dwayne went from sixteen to twenty four points per game, four to five rebounds, four to seven assists per game. I could see a jump like that coming from Jaden Ivy because he's a relentless worker and he is a true artist when it comes to his craft. Like he just wants to get better. He wants to be great. And yeah, I just think we're gonna see a huge jump from him. And I think getting snubbed from the all-rookie first team, you know, even as fans are not supposed to take this personally, but I know players do, that's going to be a chip on his shoulder. And he's going to want to prove to everybody that he is the guard to come out of this draft. I I, I feel that about him. And just the way he plays, it's just, we got a good one in Detroit. And there's, I mean, even though I'm upset and I'm pissed off about him getting snubbed, I'm so excited for the future of this kid and this team. 